Hello and welcome back to Jules Math Tools. In our session today, we are solving another two-step equation when the distributive property is involved. And if you want to see how this is done, let's get started. So we are solving our equation today using the distributive property and just as always in case we have some first timers here who are not familiar with the distributive property we will go through the whole process on how to apply this rule so that as we work through the question you will be able to follow along. So when applying my distributive property that means that my term which is outside the brackets will be multiplied to everything that is in the brackets so that my 4 will be multiplied to my 6 and my 4 will also be multiplied to t which means that we will have 4 times t being added to the product of 4 times 6 and 4 times t is equal to 4t and 4 times 6 is equal to 24 so now that we have simplified our parentheses, we're now going to plug this information back into our equation and solve for our unknown variable t. So we have 40 plus 24 equals to 54. So, so now we are solving a two-step equation, which means that I'm going to be moving into solving or using my first step which is when I have addition being involved, that means I'm going to now collect my like terms, which in 24 and 54 are the like terms because they are constants. And because my 24 is being added on the left hand side, that means that when I move it to the right hand side with my 54, I'm now going to subtract that 24. So we'll have 40 equal to 54 minus 24 which is equal to 30 and that's using our first step so now we're going to move into using our second step of our two step equations and our second step is because we are multiplying here that means I will now be using division to get my variable alone I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 4 and this is our second step in our two-step equation. So that means that when 4 is divided by 4, that will equal to 1. And we know that with writing these terms, 1t and t is the exact same thing. And we are going to be dividing our 4 by 4, which will equal to 1. And then we're dividing our 4 into 30. Now, as always, like I tell you, I don't like skipping through steps too much because we don't always have everybody following along that may be as quick in their working as others. So just to make sure that nobody gets lost, we're going to go through the division to make sure that everybody understands what is happening. So 4 goes into 37 times. 7 times 4 is equal to 28. 30 minus 28 will leave us with a difference of 2 and we are going to move into decimal numbers so I'm inputting my decimal point behind my dividend and also behind my 7 which is in my quotient I'm going to add in my 0 bring down that 0 changing 2 into 20 and then 4 divides into 20 5 times 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 minus 20 will equal to 0 so now that I have found that when I divide 30 by 4 it's equal to 7.5 I'm now going to say and conclude my working that my t is equal to 7.5 and as always, once you are done solving this equation, I always recommend that you go back and you check your answer. Do not just leave the answer and assume that it's right. If you have the opportunity to check, 
by all means check your solution so if we said that t is equal to 7.5 that means i'm now going to be substituting t everywhere that it appears in our equation with my 7.5 and again just like i did before i will show you how that you can check using the distributive property as well as using your rules for PEMDAS. So if you are familiar with how you can use both rules, by all means, go ahead, check your equation, and then we will see if everything works out the way it should. So 4 when multiplied to 7.5 will equal to 30. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. I remember our equation is equal to 54 and when we add 30 to 24 we do get 54 so again we see that both sides of our equation are equal to 54 and again remember that we do have a second option in terms of checking our answer so using my 7.5 being added to 6 my 4 on the outside of my parentheses and this equation is still equal to 54 Remember that we can use PEMDAS and work out our parentheses first. So 7.5 plus 6 will equal to 13.5, which will be multiplied to my 4 to get 54. And just do a quick working, even though we know it should equal to 54, just in case, as always, for my persons who may not be as quick in the calculations as others, so 4 times 5 is 20, carry our 2, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 will equal to 14, put our 4, carry the 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 will give us 5, and then when we input our decimal point, will equal to our 54. So we see that our 54 is equal to 54. Okay, so we have both ways that we could have checked the solution and we did. And for both, we see that when t is equal to 7.5, it does justify or it does prove that our equation will equal to 54. So the answer is valid. Make sure that as always, you one, solve your unknown variable. And in this case, we have to apply our rules for distribution. After distributing, you have to know which of your two steps you're going to be using to solve your two-step equation. And after solving, always go back and check your answer. No matter how sure you are or how positive your answer may be, it doesn't hurt to check just to make sure or to take that extra precaution and making sure that your solution is indeed valid for your equation. So I hope this information and this video was very helpful to you. Make sure that you get some additional practice in. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the steps, if the information was clear and it was helpful. And we'll see you right here in the next video on Jules Math Tools where we aim daily to make math easy.